Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. I'm just in my backyard doing a bird watch. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, flamingos. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was amazing. I didn't even know those were in my state. Oh, wow, look. Hmm? What's up, I'm a bald eagle. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Ow. Tweet. You hear that? Tweet, tweet. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a parrot. You can't hold me down. I love finding birds. I love birds that are just right around my house. <laughs> In fact, I have a lot of different bird feeders and even some bird Later. nests right here at my house. I can watch them through my windows. <gasps> oh, hey, my bird feeder needs filled up. You want to come with me? Let's go. Here's one of my bird feeders. There's different kind of bird feeders and different kind of bird food for different kinds of birds. This is just kind of a mix. Look, there's corn and sunflowers and other kinds of seeds in here. This is designed so that if a squirrel gets on it, it puts its heavy body right here and it shuts. That makes sure that the birds get the food and not the squirrels. Perfect. Dinner's ready, little birds. Come and get it. Want to see something so cool? I have two bird nests right here on my front porch. This nest was built by robins and I got to watch the mama robin every day. She and the daddy robin built the nest together and then she laid her eggs. She sat on them, which is called incubating them. And then one day, they hatched <laughs> one at a time until all the baby robins were hatched. Then she stayed there to keep them nice and warm until they were ready to whoop, hop out of the nest. You want to look at it? Come, come see. Look way up there. Birds don't live in nests like this. It's kind of like a crib for a tiny baby. It keeps all the little baby birds together in one place so the parents know how to feed them and where they are. It also keeps them nice and warm, protected, and camouflaged. Do you know what camouflage means? It means that you blend in to the environment around you so that anything that might wanna come eat the little birds up, can't even see them. Okay. Now, we're going to be very quiet and very gentle because there is a finch nest in my plant on my porch and it has eggs in it right now. Last time I saw it, there were five eggs. Let's see if there's any more today. Come on. The nest is right up in this plant. 
talk about camouflage, I wouldn't have even known it was there, except one day I was sitting out here and I saw a mommy finch and a daddy finch building their nest right in here. Why don't you come peek very gently and very carefully, don't touch anything, and see how many eggs are in the nest today. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five! <gasps> five eggs, and look at that nest! I have an idea. What if we made our own bird nest today? <laughs> do you want to? Let's do it. To the porch. <laughs> to make this pretend nest today, I'm gonna start with a circle of cardboard. You're also going to need cardboard sticks. I have some tissue paper feathers, some cotton balls, some string, yarn, felt, whatever you want, glue, and some scissors. Birds make all kinds of different nests depending on what kind of bird they are. Some just dig a hole in the ground and that's their nest. Some put their babies in the hole of a tree. But some, like the robins and finches, and the nest we saw make something called a cup nest. They make it with all sorts of things that they find. They make it with sticks and twigs. They make it with bark from trees. Maybe some old string or hair that they find. And they use all those things to build up, up, up the sides of their nests so that their babies have a nice, warm, safe place to live. Birds don't really use glue to put their nests together. Some birds use mud. Can you imagine having your bed made out of sticks and mud? <laughs> That'd be a funny bed. It's usually the mom bird who builds the nest, but the dad will help bring her supplies. Isn't that cool? They carry them in their beaks. When the outside of the nest is built, some birds put softer things on the inside, you know, to make like a soft, cozy place for their eggs. This could be their own feathers, or sometimes they find stuff called moss, or the fluff inside of different plants, maybe like a cattail. They can even use hair or fur from pets and stuff. Cool, huh? That gives the birds a nice cozy place. Once the nest is all laid, then guess what happens? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> the mama bird lays her eggs. After the eggs incubate, they hatch. This happens when the tiny bird inside is old enough and strong enough to start pecking its way out of the egg. And then, oh, look, all the stuff to make a baby bird. Let's do it. Pom pom. A little beak. A wing. Two wings. Feet. And eyes. The robins that were in that nest up there on my porch, when they were born, their eyes were shut. Isn't that funny? It took them a few days for their eyes to open up. At first, they wouldn't even know when their mom and dad were coming, except they would listen. And then, whenever their mom and dad came and they heard them carrying a big worm, even though their eyes were shut, they would hear it and they would go, <laughs> and then the mom and dad would feed them. So cool. <laughs> the little birdie hatched. 
I bet it's excited for its brothers or sisters to hatch too. <sighs> Have you seen any birds come to the feeder since we've been crafting? Hmm. Me either. Maybe, maybe we can make a couple more bird feeders together while we're here. Then we can put them in that bush over there and see if any birds come while we watch. Let's do it. For this bird feeder project, all you need is some peanut butter, nut butter, or you could use honey, some more bird seed, toilet paper rolls, and some string. Also, I'm gonna use a popsicle stick to spread my peanut butter. You could use something else if you wanted to. This is super easy and super fun. The first thing you're gonna do is cover your toilet paper roll in peanut butter. <laughs> Mm. I heard something. Are the birds behind me? Did you see them? <gasps> Amazing. That kind of finch is called a house finch, which makes sense because uh, it's right by my house. <laughs> Hear that pretty bird song? Wow. This looks a little delicious, doesn't it? This is kind of like frosting a cake, except um, you're frosting a toilet paper roll. Okay. Once you have your toilet paper roll all covered up, you're gonna roll it in the bird seed. It's kind of like the sprinkles on your cake. Cover it all up. And once it's nice and coated with bird seed, you're gonna take your string or your twine and put it right through like that. Tie a knot. Hang it for the birds to find their new delicious treat. <laughs> Come on. I've seen a lot of birds in this bush, especially the new baby robins that just hatched. So we'll put this right there for them. Happy eating birds. I had so much fun learning and making about birds today with you. I love hanging out with you no matter what we do. <laughs> I hope that you have fun making all of these crafts and finding the birds wherever you live. I bet they're awesome. Whoa! Moo! No. Oh, uh, twee, twee, twee! Until next time, see you soon. <gasps> Want to make more things together? Me too! K-Y-L-E-E, -E. that's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.